Hello and welcome to my DIY today and today last week we talked about 72 hour kits for your home grab and go and and when you grab and go usually you're going to get in your car and go so I had the homemade ones and I had the bought ones and also what I bought for the all my kids uh, five years ago I bought car kits because when you have kids you are 90% in your car driving around you kind of live in your car doing all kinds of stuff so I got car emergency car kits for them and I will show you what's in those so let's go ahead and get started first of all I'm going to put two of my kits in the car and two I will stay keep here because I have them and here's the kit that I got um throw in some baby wipes that did not come with the kit here's a couple of blankets a lamp to endurance headlamp came in it and I got some batteries and this is a snap light safety stick and these are actually something you eat they're compacted they're like granola bars or something um, so these are really good these were in there really heavy so you can eat those and these hot uh hand and body warmers a whistle to holler for help this is their little first aid kit some matches and some band-aids you keep these in your box just try and get them to all fit and keep this in your car i told the kids keep you got to keep stuff in your car you don't know if you're going to be stranded in your car on the freeway or or what's going to happen uh you know so you've got to keep these things in your car i don't know if the baby wipes will fit but they got it to fit okay and now go find an old blanket you don't want and keep that out in your car this is an old sleeping bag that nobody likes so I'm gonna put that out in the car nobody likes because the zipper's broken I've got the two backpacks my car kit a blanket I always keep a coat some water some gloves another small blanket jumper cables you just never know umbrella and always keep a charge card for your phone in your car okay so uh, that takes the needs of your car and um, it depends on if you have small kids or big kids or what's going on what you need to keep in your car granola bars I keep granola bars in the glove box and fruit roll-ups because we eat those all the time whether it's a disaster or not okay so that takes care of your car uh, when you grab and go you got to go and always keep your car uh, never let it go past half full because you've got to be able to get out and uh, some of you are asking well where are you going what are you running from uh, is it your home your best place if in an earthquake and your home's not stable you can't stay like those folks that were in the trailer homes they couldn't stay they had to go and they went over to Taylor Taylorsville High School and just you if they if everybody had a 72-hour kit then they would all be taken care of. They all stay a distance from each other and uh, I don't know if uh, there's times we cannot stay in your home and we could always go in the backyard and stay in a tent. We have a tent. Some people have campers. I think campers would be wonderful because that has everything. I may get one of those little little miniature camper where it's got all your needs. A toilet, a shower, uh, uh, the food, refrigerator a stove sleeping so that if you have a camper that is really good really good to have so I put some uh, clothes in here and I'll put them in the bags and these are waterproof bags that I can put stuff in so I'll put those in the car too get those to fit in there zip it up cold out here. <laughs> there was another aftershock this morning. There we go. Any places to put your phones and other tons of pockets there. 
so that works out. Now, let's go check on the expedition, see what we got in there. Okay, I've got two jackets, a rain jacket, and a couple of snuggy blankets for the expedition. And the reason I want the expedition is if it's rough terrain, we'll need it for that. And if it's car, I mean not rough terrain, we'll want the car. I've got two in the car. This is just a rough blanket that you can lay down. Okay, I've got the two two blankets, two jackets, a rain jacket, the two uh, 72 hour kits in there and I will have to go buy one that I have for the car where it's got all that other stuff in it, the car emergency kit. And we'll be good to go. Also, we could actually lay down here. Those seats lay down. We could sleep out here if our if our house was not stable to be in. And uh, we can also sleep in the car too. And have a phone charger in, in each of the vehicles also. And there's always have car chargers in here too. And know how to change your tires and all that fun stuff. Okay, the next next item I want to show you. I, I want to show you how to make. Um, what do they call those? masks that you wear. A real simple, quick, five-minute mask. Okay, you will need uh, cotton material and flannel. This is my jammies flannel. So let's cut one square of each, six by nine inches. The nine-inch mark. And here is the six-inch six mark. Okay, now let's get another piece of cotton. Cut four of those. Now let's cut two pieces of flannel. Okay, so that'll make four masks. So I've got four pieces, four pieces of cotton, and then two pieces of flannel. Okay, now cut eight seven inch strips of elastic. It's about a half inch wide. You can get an eighth inch or fourth inch, but do seven inches right there, seven inches. We need eight of them, two for each mask. Lay down your flannel. Then lay down your cotton. And then let's take the elastic and put Put it in that corner, and then in this corner, and do the same on the other side. That corner, and this corner. And then you put this down on top, okay? And catch that elastic on each one here. And now you're going to sew around but leave an opening right here. Clip the corners and turn it inside out. Now turn it inside out after you've clipped the corners. Poke the corners out. Okay, 
get it to this point. Okay, make two tucks on this corner and two on this corner. And we're going to just sew all the way around. Okay. Where there's an opening, you need to make sure you you will just make sure that's down. Snip your thread. Okay, here's the mask. See how easy that was? And it's pleated and you can bring it up like that. Now all you do is just put it over your mouth, bring it around, tuck it over your ears, and there you have yourself a mask. Hmm. Now this doesn't take the place of a real mask, but it's better than nothing. You just turn it over and you've got the green side and it's washable. Look at my ears. Let's see, get that hooked on there. Or you could do ribbon and tie it in the back. Let's see how we look there. Now we are styling. And I can breathe just fine through there and you can do different styles and just got that on there as long as your ears hold it well it looks good <sighs> okay there we go and that's uh, the exchange oh you can turn it over this way or this way and you've got the flannel in the middle you've got yourself a mask yeah, I got those four masks done and they're interchangeable. So, ready to go. That was the first one I've done and I'll have four on hand and in case me and Papa O need them, maybe we can have those when we see our grandkids. Well, that is the DIY on your car preparedness kit and uh, how to make masks for these times of trial and those masks are good for who knows any time really so uh, it's good to have those on hand well thanks for liking commenting and subscribing and, re and uh, remember to watch for my DIYs every Friday at 2 and let's uh, see what I bring next week and good night